I'm Kendall, a Soul Maz dietetic intern at Lenore Ryan University. Hydration is an important part of nutrition, but it also can affect your performance as an athlete. Only a 2% drop in hydration can negatively affect your performance as an athlete. Now, to tell if you're dehydrated, you're generally going to have dark urine, fatigue, or lightheadedness. If you're experiencing vomiting or passing out, that's a severe form of dehydration and you're going to want to seek medical attention. An easy way to tell if you're hydrated is by the color of your urine. You want your urine to be the color of lemonade or clear. If your urine is apple juice color, then that means you're dehydrated. One easy way to keep your hydration status up is to drink water throughout the day. An easy way to do this is by having a water bottle with you throughout the day and keep filling it up and drinking water from the water bottle. You should be drinking about 20 ounces two to three hours before practice and then 15 minutes before warm-ups try and drink about eight to ten ounces of fluids. During practice a rule of thumb to follow is to drink eight to ten ounces every 15 minutes. And if your practice is going to last longer than 90 minutes or the temperature is higher than 75 degrees, you will need a small amount of carbohydrates and electrolytes to keep you going. Gatorade is a good choice for this because it has some carbohydrates and it has some electrolytes. Now when you're comparing sports drinks, Gatorade has 6 to 8% carbohydrates, which is low enough that's easy enough to digest, and it's made up of fructose and sucrose, which are also easy for the body to digest. If you look at Powerade, that's made with high fructose corn syrup, and it's a lot harder for the body to digest. If you're not a big fan of Gatorade, try splitting it with half water, half Gatorade, and drinking it that way. Or you can switch between drinking Gatorade and drinking water when you take those drinks. Or you can gradually increase the amount of Gatorade that you're drinking throughout practice. Now after practice, you're going to need those carbs and those electrolytes to replenish the amount of water that you've lost while working out. Generally you want to drink about 16 ounces for every pound that you've lost or until your urine comes back to a lemonade or a clear color. As an athlete, it's really important to stay hydrated because it's not only going to affect your nutrition, it affects how your body works.